hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a is equals to a divided by 8 and here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of the roots are solution of this equation or which of the roots are extraneous root okay uh, so uh, I hope so you like this method uh, and also we saw this method uh, we saw this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here first we move towards the first method uh, and now here uh, in the first method uh, we uh, need uh, to uh, cross multiply the terms and you see here the denominator of this term is 1 and when we uh, cross multiply the terms we will get here here we multiply this 1 with a and 8 with this a so it will be written as 1 multiplied by a is equals to a multiplied by 8 so uh, here further uh, we get this will becomes a is equals to this will becomes 8 times of a so uh, here further in the next step we move uh, this a to the right hand side when we move this a to the right hand side uh, so it will be written as uh, 8 times of a and minus a is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, a times of a minus a is equals to 7 times of a is equals to 0 and because here we find uh, or we solve this problem for the values of a uh, for this we need to divide both of the sides by 7 uh, so here we divide both of the sides by 7 in this form and we write that uh, here we divide by 7 and further in the next step you see here uh, this 7 and this 7 are gone and we will get here a is equals to here we have 0 over 7 we know that uh, when we uh, when we divide 0 by any number it will uh, always get the answer is 0 so here we will get the answer is 0 so uh, here you see that we have the value of a is equals to 0 this is the first root of the given equation and now here in the next steps uh, we need uh, to verify this root and we check that is this root with the solution of the given equation or uh, is this root be the uh, extraneous root okay so uh, here uh, in order to uh, verification of the roots first we need to copy down given question statement here it is a is equals to a divided by 8 and now we verify the root that is a is equals to 0 so when we substitute a is equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation uh, it will be written as when we put it here it will becomes 0 is equals to 0 divided by 8 and also you uh, we know that when we divide 0 with any other number it is always gives us the answer is 0 uh, so we get here uh, 0 is equals to 0 so this means that the value of a is equals to 0 is satisfied over this question statement this means that a is equals to 0 be the only one solution of the uh, given equation okay so uh, here we have the solution of the given equation is a is equals to 0 so <clears throat> further we uh, again solve this problem for the second method uh, and uh, in the second method uh, we uh, need to copy down a uh, given question statement here uh, so we have a is equals to a divided by 8 so in the second method here we consider a is not equals to 0 okay so if uh, we consider our a is not equals to 0 and we solve this uh, equation uh, so uh, here uh, we uh, again uh, cross multiply the terms or in other words uh, we just use here the LCM technique so in order to use the LCM technique we move a over 8 in the left hand side and it will be written as a minus a over 8 
is equals to 0. Here we move a over 8 in the left hand side and now here in order to take the LCM of this term we need to make the denominators are same for this we will multiply this term and divide by 8 and, and you see here we will get the denominator of both of these terms are 8 so here we easily take the LCM of this term and its LCM will become here 8 and we get here 8a minus a is equals to 0. So uh, here in the further in the next step, uh, we move this 8 to the right hand side and 8 uh, a minus a becomes here 7 a divided by 8 is equals to 0. And uh, here uh, we move this 8 to the right hand side and you get here 7 a is equals to 0. And further we divide both of the sides by 7 and you get here a is equals to 0 but in the start of the um, solution we can we here assume that our a is not equals to 0 into the second method uh, so this is not possible so in the second according to the second method we just says that uh, uh, this has no solution other than a is equals to 0 so if we will choose a is not equals to 0 then uh, this the above equation has no solution so this is the our final answer of this question and i hope so you like both of these methods uh, and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos